Welcome to an introduction of the Scan and Link mobile app and gateway. We have here on the table an Android phone, the Scan and Link gateway, a primary controller, a battery free wireless switch, battery free motion sensor, uses the solar cell to power it, and a secondary controller and a 0 to 10 volt controlled luminaire. So the first step is to download the Scan and Link software. It's available on the Google Play Store. And to find it on the store, you can either go to a link and download it directly, or you can type in the quote mark and the scan and link, end quotes, and it'll bring up Scan and Link by Ad Hoc Electronics. And I've downloaded that already, so I'll go ahead and open it. And th there different ways to connect. Most versions of Android, you can press the connect button and it will take care of all the setup. This is an Android Nexus and it requires a extra step. I have to manually do the connection where I choose the scan and link gateway from the Wi-Fi settings and then I go out and wait for it to pop up a message to say that it can't get to the internet. What is happening here is that the phone, I need to hurry and grab that before it goes away and choose for this to stay connected to the scan and link gateway. I'm using the Wi-Fi connection between the phone and the gateway to, for the app to communicate between those two and then the gateway will control these devices and once the connection is done the screen goes away automatically. So the first screen that you see is a project screen. You can create a new project and name it. In this case I'm in an office building. A project is typically a specific building or location so it holds multiple groups of devices. In this case, in my office building, I want to create a group for the conference room where I'm at. So I will add the conference room, conference room, and I, there are different templates for different purposes. We'll talk about those separately, but the primary secondary is the template I want to use so that primary and the secondary can communicate with each other in the conference room. And now that I'm in the conference room group, I need to add devices to the group. There are multiple ways to add these devices. One way is, well, I click the plus button and I can scan a barcode. So the barcode uh, in this case is on the devices. And once I added it to the group, I can test communication with it by pressing the power symbol here and that device is responding. That's fantastic. I also want to add the secondary device. In this case, I will choose to get it from known devices. It's been listening and there are two fixture controllers is the name of these and I will control these. This one is the unit that I'm responding. You can see the LED transition from green to red as I toggle it. And it found another one in the area and it happens to be controlling the lights in the room. So I don't want that one. I'm gonna check, put a check mark in all the devices I want and then select them. And it will add them to my list. I can still control both of them here. I wanna add other devices as well, including a switch. In this case, I'll manually connect a switch. And it says to press each button on the device you wish to select. So if I just click the switch, it will add it here in the background and I want to also add a motion sensor so I can press the button. There are two buttons on the motion sensor. One has a divot and the other one does not and the link button is the one without the line or the divot on it. And when I press that it also shows up there in the background so I have a rocker and an occupancy sensor. Um, they're not controllable however they do blink um, green when a signal is received and it shows the signal strength between the device and the gateway. So I've got all the devices in this group that I need to have communicate together. The switch currently does not control these lights. Um, I need to upload the settings uh, but I can choose what type of mode I want this to work in. So the motion sensor, I want it to work in an auto on, auto off mode. So I'm going to touch that and choose, set a check mark. And then I just press upload and it's going to communicate with each of the devices. 
and update first the area controller and then the fixture controller. And it will toggle them at the end to signify that it's done. And I should now be able to use the switch to control the light. I didn't connect the light, so I'll just attach it to the power and then connect the purple and the gray dimming wires to the controller with the quick connects. And I would be able to, at this point, use the primary device and the slider on the primary is adjusting the brightness on the secondary wirelessly or I can use the switch if I've turned it off with the primary. I can use the switch to turn it back on. Or I can also test the motion sensor connection. Pressing this same link button five times will activate a link test mode. And subsequent presses will toggle the devices on and off. So I'm confirming that the motion sensor is also linked to the system. And that's a quick overview of how the remote commissioning application can be used to discover devices, add them to a group, and link them all together. Thank you very much.